Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Fallout Instrument Pack which is being made by user HCGX Grill. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a multiple lovely instruments that you and your settlers can play. And these are some pretty neat little additions to the settlement system as it's just kind of a fun little thing to be walking through and have a settler randomly playing a banjo. It's kind of a cool little immersive atmospheric element. But that's not all that this mod does add in because you also do get a guitar and a banjo as a weapon. And that, that's just fun. Because I mean, why not in this fallout post-apocalyptic world would you not use a guitar or a banjo oh to smack someone in the head with. That's just entertaining. And all in all, it's, I think, a fun little addition. Though I gotta admit, I'm really more in this pack for the playable instruments as they are kinda cool. I like that little mechanic added in there. Now, as for how you get your hands on these lovely things, you are going to have to complete a Quest. Now that quest will pop when you do first start up the game and it'll send you on your way to Diamond City where you read a note that sends you to the Warren Theater for some lady who's trying to bring music back to the Commonwealth but needs help protecting against bandits. When you arrive though, oh boy those bandits are there and well you have to kill them and you find that poor lady's body over in the corner. Now on her are the important things, a legendary version of the guitar melee weapon, as well as the plans for building the instruments. So once you do have the plans in hand, you can head over to any of your settlements, and as for the playable ones, if we do open up the build mode here, head over into furniture, we have an instrument section, where if we pop in there, you can see we have all the lovely bits and bobs ready for you to go, starting with the acoustic guitar, which for a mere five wood, five steel, and two cloth, you can bring happiness to your settlers and get a little music. We do also have the banjo with the same requirements of five wood, five steel, and two cloth. We also have the snare drum, which has three wood, six steel, and three cloth for to build. And then we have the piano, which requires a fair amount here with 10 wood, two steel, and three cloth. But that's not all. We also get an orchestra set, which is made with a 10 wood, 10 steel, and five cloth. And this one actually allows you to have multiple settlers playing all of the instruments together rather than individually like you'd get with just the singular acoustic guitar, banjo, piano, etc. You can actually have them all playing together synced up and that is pretty darn cool. Now as you can see on all of them you do get the production of happiness with the exception of the orchestra set here. But still, it is quite nice to have each of the individual items. And I've had a lot of fun placing, like, one of these in, like, each of my different settlers' homes to, you know, make it feel like it's their instrument. When they are done farming for the day, they go home and play a bit. It's just a kind of a cool little mechanic. Now, as for the weapons we do get, like I said, we get two, a guitar and banjo. So let's take a look first at the acoustic guitar, which will produce just a mere 25 damage. It has a slow speed and a weight of 12, so pretty hefty for guitar. Now, as for the banjo, this one's a little bit less powerful at 19 damage. Again, a slow speed and a weight of 12. And as you can see here on both of the uh, banjo as well as the acoustic guitar, they look wonderful. I really do like everything about them. The one kind of disappointing thing 
is on the banjo, there are no modifications you can do whatsoever. So it's always gonna be a pretty lackluster melee weapon, unless of course the mod maker decides to add in some things. Now the guitar, this does in fact have several modifications you can add on, and that is wonderful because it'll make it more powerful and allow you to change up the aesthetics a bit, which is pretty cool. Now, as for how you get your hands on the guitar and banjo, once you do collect the plans from the quest, you can go to any chemistry station and see that you have the instrument weapons category here, where you can make the acoustic guitar for two steel and five wood, and the banjo for just five steel, which is a pretty nice. Now, if we do take a look at the modifications we have available, just to again show you the banjo, sadly, nothing in here. Hopefully we'll get something down the road, but for right now, all the modifications are in the acoustic guitar. We're in the first upgrade category. We can have either nothing, the default, a set of spikes, some razor blades shoved on there, or saw blades, which will give you the highest increase in damage and target bleed, which is pretty good. Now then we have a paint category, which I always love having because you can change up the aesthetic look to what you like. And you get either the base paint, a blue paint, green, purple, red, and yellow. And I really do enjoy that they're all, no matter which color you choose, really worn down. It makes it feel like it fits more in our post-apocalyptic world here. And finally, you can attach a rocket to it if you so desire upping the damage even more and adding some crippling effects to limbs which i mean cool you now have a rocket powered potentially saw bladed acoustic guitar metal i like that i like that a lot <laughs> hopefully the banjo will get these sorts of upgrades down the road or perhaps something different it's all steel after all so why not some electrifying sort of mods to shock people that would be pretty cool to see but for right now it is just uh, the banjo on its own but uh whichever way you go it's uh, it's pretty cool there now i do actually want to take a look over here at the uh, nocturnal acoustic guitar that you do find on that one poor woman's body as it's a pretty cool little thing doing increased damage as the night grows longer but less damage in the day now it too can get all the various upgrades like the normal guitar to make it even better but it's a fun a little uh little uh, legendary effect there now let's uh, grab out the bladed red acoustic guitar because heck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Just do some swinging. This is the most damage you can get on this thing with 75 and it's just, it's ridiculous. Again, it's a rocket powered saw bladed red acoustic guitar and that's just fun. Now, I do want to come back up here to the stage to uh, actually show off the settler bit. So, if we spawn ourselves a... Oh, nope, I did that. Hold on, we're going to have to go and go through all of these. Oh, where did I have the spawn? There we go. It's way up the list. Perfect. And if we go into the settlement mode here and tell this person to play the drums, there they go. They run up and eventually will sit down and begin to play. There we are. They did it for very briefly, but if you do have them in the settlement, they will just sort of go to them at random when they're assigned and play. Just like they do, of course, for any normal little job in there. And all of them do have unique sounds that they will play. There is drum noise, guitar noise, banjo noise, piano noise, and of course if you got four all on this, they play together. Now, uh, the orchestra one, my two problems with it. One, even when I've had um, enough settlers, it seems to be difficult for them all to be there at the same time to play. I've had an issue with that. And two is the stage that it's all attached to. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it kind of clips through things, like if you are trying to build a stage like I have here, because it doesn't 
Snap. It doesn't have snap points along the edges. Oh, I think I may have told them to play that. Maybe? I don't know. They're wandering around doing other things now. But yeah, since it doesn't have snap edges, to actually build a proper stage is going to take some work. So that'd just be one thing I would love to see with that for those edges to snap. But otherwise, just the individual instruments are a fun little addition. I've really enjoyed placing them in my settlements to add a little bit of music to the world. It's just a nice thing to have. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed to and yet to do this. come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.